What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to install a how to create a spigot server for Minecraft 4.17. All right guys. So let's go ahead and hop into the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you give a like and subscribe. All right guys, the first thing we're going to have to do here is go to download Java 16 right here. Okay, the Java C 16. You're going to click on the link in the description. You're going to scroll down and then you're going to be able to download a Windows times 64 installer. All right guys. Now, if you're on Mac, you can install it right here as well. You just have to download this and install it, all right? Now, the reason why we need Java 16 is because the newest version of Minecraft for servers uh, run on Java 16, all right, guys? So, let's go ahead and get our spigot, okay? So, our spigot is basically the exact same thing as craft bucket, okay? They're basically the exact same thing. The only thing is that spigot has different plugins than craft bucket, all right, guys? So, as you can see right here, we have version 1.17. What we're going to go ahead and do is click download, okay? So let's go ahead and download this, download, click on this one more time, and it should download your spigot 1.17. Now, last thing we need to do here is come on the minecraft.net, and we're actually going to have to copy this file right here, okay? This, this JavaScript right here. We're going to highlight it and copy it, okay? Now, you do need to create yourself a spigot server folder if you haven't done that already, okay? So again, we just downloaded Java 16. Now we just got downloaded our spigot server, okay? And now we just copied and paste our JavaScript line, okay? Now our spigot server is done downloading. Let's drag it to our desktop. What we're gonna do now is drag it into our actual spigot server. We're gonna open up the folder and then we are gonna come here, right click, okay? And then we're gonna rename it to server, all right? And the reason why I rename it to server is because it makes it a lot easier, okay? So now this is your server. All right. Now to be able to run the server, we need to right click in our uh, document here in our folder. We're going to go to new text document. Okay. And we're going to open up this text document. Now what we're going to do is control V. Now this is what we copied and pasted right here. Okay. Now we don't really need our websites anymore. We basically have everything we need here. So as you can see, we have our Java 16, right? Or Java command script right here. This is going to be our run dot bat. Okay. So first things first here, let me enlarge in this. We're going to get rid of the XMX and we're going to go 2048. Perfect. And then we're going to go XMX 2048. So what that does is it allows the server to run at two gigabytes now. Okay. If you guys want to add more gigabytes, go ahead. That's completely up to you. Just make sure you know the codes for the gigabytes. All right. So now we have a this right here, right? So to be able to run this server file right here. So this file, what it does, is it's going to run this server at all times never double click on this okay it might work it might not work but i recommend that you always create yourself a run dot bat this is what's going to always run the server efficiently okay so then let's get rid of this minecraft underscore because ours is called server dot jar and this is server 1.17.1 so let's get rid of this 1.17.1 and now we have server dot jar the exact same file as this right here okay so now what I like to do as well is type pause under here just in case we do get any issues. And now we got to go to file, save as. We're going to go to all files down here. And you're going to do run dot bat. All right. And you could also do start dot bat, whatever you prefer. And then click save. All right. So I went ahead and deleted the old text document that we had here. Since we already have our run file right here, it should look like this. Now, what the only thing we have to do left really is to double click run. Now, what's going to happen is, is it should load up the server. It's going to start loading it up. But the first thing we have to do, accept the ULA. So press any button, open the ULA file, and then come here and change this to true. Now, if you don't get these ULA files, okay, what might happen is you might have double clicked on this. All right. Instead of running it from this run.bat or again, make sure you have Java installed correctly. Okay. So let's go ahead and double click run again. And now it should fully go ahead and create the server for us. Okay, guys. And this is the way to uh, how to create your own spigot server, which basically adds plugins to your Minecraft server and it adds different variations to your bucket. Okay. So as you can see now, it's actually getting around everything. It's starting to create everything. Everything's starting to launch up. And then once you see done, that's when you're going to be able to go ahead and click done. And then you're absolutely done. So as you can see, all these folders are getting created now. And this is all the folders we're going to need. So you have your worlds plug in here with your world. You have your plugins folder right here. Um, you have your spigot. You have your your server properties file right here. So you can change anything you want. And yeah, guys. So really quickly as well, if you guys want to know how to make a cracked server, just open up your server's property files. Scroll all the way down. 
and then until you find online mode right once you find online mode you change this to false and that's how you make a cracked server just to let you guys know really quick all right so now the server is done we can go ahead and type stop and that's it that's all guys that's pretty much the server done now and again in the video i will be just gonna have to put forward the server to play with your friends i have a bunch of videos on that i think i have like two or three so make sure you go check those out if you want to know how to actually send your public ip to your friends but you do need to port forward your ipv4 first so then you're able to send them your ip and they're going to be able to join the server okay so let's go ahead we're going to run this server again we're going to go ahead and join the server i'll see you guys in the actual game all right guys we are now in the minecraft multiplayer let's go ahead and click add server we're going to go down here and type zero just for local as you can see the server is up and running and we are all good to join it all right guys so as you guys can see now we are currently in the actual minecraft server and everything is all good to go if you wanted to install plugins all you have to do is download your plugin drag it to your plugins folder and then run your server and you're all good to go so if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to give it a like and subscribe i really appreciate it guys you guys are amazing and i'll see you guys next time adios